Alicia with Twisted Tarot and I am back for another pick a uh, card reading and um, this time we are going to ask something super exciting. I'm very excited about this video today. Uh, I've had this deck for a while and uh, just been kind of, uh, I knew it was a very special and strong deck so uh, today we are using this lovely blind spot oracle cards here. And we're gonna find out like, what are we not seeing? What are we blind to? What like, what are we not willing to see? Um, so it could be triggering just now. We have four different piles. So pile number one is going to be this lovely Buddha. It's a little yellow uh, monk. Yeah, so beautiful. Guess this is pile number one. Pile number two, like pile number one, if you're very spiritual, I'm just gonna put it out there that like most of you are gonna be drawn to this pile for that reason. Not that the rest aren't, just like that this is like you know your divine path and you're wondering like what are you blind to down like any angle of your life and you're willing to be open to anything. I feel that's very, gonna you'll be very drawn to this pile. Obviously you could match with um, religious, you know, Hinduism, Buddhism, things like that. Um, the second pile is this beautiful little fish, and I love this. It's this little bone fish, and like if you look at it real close, it's just lovely. I can't tell where the camera is. This is all new. This is brand new. I'm, I keep switching it up because some of it's, you know, not great. Okay, so I feel like this could be a special symbol for somebody who fishes, uh, or, you know, you're, you're interested in that, or you have done those things. Um, evolutionary uh, evolution and evolutionary evolving on your path is going to be for pile number two. Somebody who loves the outdoors. Uh, pile number three is this beautiful rocking chair. It's this horse rocking chair. And it's so cute. It's a little charm. So I hope you can see it well on the camera. So. Okay. So this one I feel is like super special. I'm going to put it up like that. I feel like if you. Uh, I'm feeling strongly Aries energy for this pile. So somebody may be watching that pile that's in Aries or has that strongly in their chart. So like fiery energy, but this is like, like that inner childhood wounds um, may address something that maybe you didn't see about a past situation. Uh, this could relate to childhood memories, your child, your own children and things like that for pile number three. Um, and pile number four is gonna be this lovely gold moon. Or sorry, pile number four is gonna be, did I say three? I'm so sorry. So you may be drawn to both piles and you can pick as many piles as you want. This is not a, this is not a restricted video like that. So if you wanna pick one and four or whatever the situation or just one or two or three or four or all, that's great. <laughs> so, all right, so we'll get into uh, pile number one. I just wanna say thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. You guys are amazing. There are some beautiful women that uh, that have shown me their their products. They're small business women, and they're amazing. And I wouldn't even call them small, like mainly, you know, they're small as in there. It comes from them and a small group of either themselves or the people around them. But like, it's beautiful, like the way that they build uh, products that are just so amazing and I've used them all and I'm like blown away <laughs> so check them out down below um, there's a joy forever and enlightened visions uh, both with names that start with D so I thought that was really really interesting <laughs> so check them out check them out the double D's down below okay all right so we have um, like I said four different piles and we're just gonna go into what is your blind spot Okay, so for those of you that chose this beautiful yellow Buddha monk, man, woman, whatever, <laughs> the gem. Okay, so this is, what is your blind spot? Okay, so what are you not seeing uh, about your situation? What needs to be um, seen or wants to be seen? Remember, this could be triggering, it's not meant to be. Uh, but just know that it's for your soul's growth. So, uh, um, yeah. Okay. And the number 25. 
so yeah that could mean something specific uh, 25 boils down to the number 7 which is a very spiritual number here so let's see what the number 25 signifies here in the book the book is kind of lengthy so I'll just try and skim here what you guys need to know all right so resistance if you have drawn the sigil you are in resistance I think it's sigil it might be sigil somebody tell me because I have no idea I didn't look it up so you are not admitting that a tug of war is occurring within you or a tug of war is occurring between yourself and someone else to understand resistance perfectly, I want you to imagine a stream with a fast moving current. In this current, there is a boat. This boat has six oarsmen in it, each of whom have a paddle. Some of the oarsmen are paddling downstream with the current. Some of them are paddling upstream against the current. The oarsmen who are trying to paddle the boat upstream are in resistance. They are in resistance to the current itself. They are in resistance to the oarsmen who are also trying to paddle the boat downstream. Resistance is nothing more than opposition. It is any oppositional force. We can meet with opposition from the outside and we can meet with opposition from the inside. Resistance from the outside is external people, events, and circumstances opposing you. But internal and external resistance go hand in hand. If you have drawn the sigil, you don't get to tell yourself that other people are resistant to you, so it isn't your issue. This universe is a time-space reality that is based on the law of mirroring. So the resistance we encounter on the outside is a reflection of internal resistance that exists, usually internal resistance that we are unaware of. That being said, if you have drawn the sigil as part it means one part of you is resisting another part of you or you are resisting something or someone else so on like an internal way it comes in the form of thoughts words or actions so it's about your thoughts being resistant um, or about outside forces Re is there some type of resistance it's either between you and another person um, it's between you and many different situations or there's just this resistance. It may be because there's a block within within the path or that somehow we're swimming against what we know we should be doing. Something is something feels wrong about what we're doing. Or we're being made to feel like it's wrong. A lot of it's like a past life karma. Some of you are going through that now and you've been going through it for seven years. You could have started this last one when you were 25 or you are 25 and that's the age that you'll have like this big period of what is to come. So just know that the more that we're resisting something, the more that there's something inside of us that's resisting it. It's our, it's our thoughts. It's our feelings. It's, you know, it's like, it's like you get in that boat and you're in that six of swords energy and you're moving towards something new or trying to move towards something new, but there's like resistance everywhere around you. And it's almost like having to fight for everything. Um, things becoming battles. Something shouldn't have become battles for you is what I'm also hearing. Um, but external sources will do that. So, but it also comes from an internal resistance somewhere inside of us. So again, um, a resistant action may be getting drunk when you vowed to stay sober. So that could be something for, for one of uh, significant for some of you that are listening. It's possible that you're making, um, that your actions and words aren't matching, but you're trying. Like there's somehow you're trying to make, to make them work, but there's the resistance. Uh, obviously, when we are trying to get what we want or when we are trying to heal, any force that opposes our healing or opposes us getting what we want is going to cause us incredible amounts of pain. What we usually do when we feel this opposition either internally or externally is that we try to push through it. We ignore it. We do not deal with the resistance directly. Because of this, we actually enhance the resistance because we are in fact resisting our resistance. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> okay that's like this deontological argument I could see okay <laughs> mm -hmm. okay 
Okay. So in order to become aware of the resistance, we have to directly address it in order to create some alignment there. Um, so we can have our personal energy going in that direction. So it's like you, you may have a plan or you may try, be trying to go in one direction, but you're already like set on this path and it's trying to get, it's kind of trying to either split your energy or you're trying to take this other path and make something happen and the resistance is there. So it's almost like um, finding ways around it, finding ways over it, realizing that sometimes with the resistance, we just have to um, do what we can and then release control to the universe and be like, okay, I did what I could, you know, and we have to keep putting in work. Um, I love all those memes that you see, like when they're talking about like highways and when are they ever going to be done or blah, 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 blah. And I thought, with the massive amount of people, with the traffic, with how cities grow, with how states grow, uh, where I'm at right now, like never. <laughs> like is 35 ever, never, just no never. That's never not gonna be a thing. Roads have to be maintained just like relationships, just like everything in this, in this world. I mean, they have to be taken care of, they have to be built, right? All of those things. And then when something happens, how much damage can they withstand before it's, it's too late? So I know you're going to understand exactly what I just channel, channeled there, but I also wanted to watch uh, that movie the other day. Maybe significant to you. Uh, what is it like up with Creek without a paddle or without a paddle? Yeah. And that's kind of it. Like they're, <laughs> it's like three guys with Ashton Kutcher in it, like all fucking fighting about, you know, like <laughs> all of the things that went wrong <laughs> in each other's lives. Yeah, so um, when things are not working, like what do they have to do? Just kind of like let go. You know, it's, it's a plot of every movie. It's just like by the end, it's just like, okay, <laughs> I can't take much more. So that is what could be blocking your path here. Um, So it says, sometimes when we become aware of the aspects of us that are in resistance, we find that instead of opposing our true desires, they point to even deeper desires, and that going in the direction we were intent on going was in fact the opposite of what was best for us. Everyone experiences resistance in their lives and in themselves. The people who are massively successful at creating the life they want to live are the people who can resolve the resistance so that their energy is not split. <gasps> I just said that. See, see, and I have not read this card ever, like in this book. <laughs> and is instead all facing in the same direction and moving towards the same thing. If you have drawn the sigil, the rule of thumb is this. You must directly deal with the resistance first before doing anything else. No action should be taken from a place of resistance. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Okay, so we're going to get some more... Uh, some more messages here. What does this have to do with? We're going to do some tarot here. This is the Tarot of Dreams by Chiro. Chiro. Roll it. Marchetti. 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 <laughs> I like to put a little, a little bit of twist on it. pretty much just confirming <laughs> what it said before it's this it's knowing where your path is meant to be and it's also have it's also they're saying like you may be giving a faith in a path that you thought that was meant for you and it wasn't but that's okay because sometimes it leads us to bigger better things and it's like being able to close out a cycle and to end some cycles too with the world, to start a new one, to have faith in starting a new one. And your faith is going to play a big role. You may have lost your faith, be questioning your faith. You may have changed your faith as well with this faith card. So it's just a lesson, again, this past life karma here with this tree of life that tells me all about patterns. Uh, look up genograms if you're interested. Uh, I have a software I can recommend. 
it's very interesting uh, psychologically to see the patterns in your life, in your parents' life, in the people around you, and, and what patterns you repeat. And that's what they're saying. They're saying don't repeat the pattern um, of your past. We have the Palace of Wands here. So very heavy fire in this uh, reading. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Very, very interesting. And I get ver always Virgo with this with this this person praying. You know, they have faith. They're just you know, has his held his head kind of or her head just you know eyes closed old learn something like lessons learned through religious learning about different religious faiths as well is going to help your situation it's going to bring you to all of knowing about your past so i feel like some of you don't know your ancestry or trying to figure it out or trying to make sense of it all especially where you belong within your community within your environment with, within the bigger scale of life all the way down to our, us being like a teeny tiny ant type of metaphor and so with this palace of wands it's like you're 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 so close like this is like a home this is like your empire it's like building this empire so starting a new path towards towards your dreams when it comes to everything you want um and it's it's figuring out what's not meant for you yet what those wands are and some of you it's just like a breakup of a relationship or a relationship that's been that's been tumultuous it's like letting letting some of that go uh energetically too like trying to let go of that cycle trying to move forward into a happy positive putting down roots and having a happy healthy positive relationships um, and this could have been just past relationships that were really really tough for you and i see that you've been you've been going through it real hard really really hard okay Let's get some more energy in here. We're gonna do one of these goddess cards. And yes, if you're masculine, you definitely don't worry. This is, can be for you as well. So just because they're feminine cards, I just have a lot of female watchers. Okay, so what are they in resistance to? Or what do they what do they what energy they, do they need to step into? Goodness, these are not shuffling well. Oh wow. Zhang, I think that's right. I, I'm so sorry. I'm just trying, but you know, beautiful. So this could be the culture. Um, this could be you as a feminine. You could look exactly like this woman right here. Okay. Or you did when you were younger. You have children that look like you. Okay. The mystic of peace. Oh, this is beautiful. This is what it is. It's coming to peace with yourself, coming to peace with your external world, stopping the resistance toward things that are, are going to work out. Okay. But it's almost that Getting to a place of peace where your mind is clear, the way is clear. Clearing the clutter, the internal and external clutter. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna move these down so you can make sure that they're all you can see in the camera. But and threes are going to be significant here. Three, three, mind, body, soul. That's like the marriage of all three of them in order to become this master of peace where nobody can mess with your peace. Nobody can get into your bubble because your bubble's already so like here that your self-respect goes that far that nobody would dare disturb that peace. And if they do, they know where they stand for, for disturbing it in whatever way, shape or form. It's having boundaries with yourself and with others. So becoming the peacemaker, you may have been a peacemaker in your childhood. That could have been uh, significant. Really shuffleable cards they pull when you shuffle so we're gonna see what you need to let go of yeah wall misunderstanding okay this definitely could be like walls that are up there could be some misunderstandings that took place So there could have been a misunderstanding when it came to uh, 
there's a horse here, so you could have been drawn to the horse pile. It was that like pile number three, I think? So yeah, uh, interesting here. So we have horse short journey. So what I'm feeling like for you is that there there could be a lot of misunderstandings that led to some journeys that ended, uh, like with the short journey. You could be going someplace and only staying there for just a little bit and then coming back and that could be like a short journey like it could be physically moving or have moved locations with the world there's a lot of travel here so you could have gone on some some like travel they're saying okay so that's also something that it's you may feel like you can't really go anywhere or that you have to have like quick journeys uh along the way Okay, so you may go to like a doctor, like a fertility doctor. Some of you, I do feel that's the case. Like you could be um, wondering about like a pregnancy or something like that, having faith in this. Um, but this is also faith, finding growth. Like you'll be finding your growth. When you find yourself, you find your growth. That's what they're saying here. Very beautiful energy. So, oh my goodness, you guys, this is so lovely. Like I completely see that you'll be finding new paths, new worlds, new journeys that you're gonna be taking. Um, you're gonna look back at all these things that have happened to you and be like, oh, those are just misunderstandings or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, and there's growth for you, growth for you as, as, you know, if you wanna be a mom, just know that, you know, you could be getting fertility treatments, have faith, you know, this could be putting stress on your relationship and then you're trying to figure out, you know, like, how to make this all work, you know, um, I do feel that as well with the Palace of Wands and the Four of Wands, Four of Wands, yeah. Okay, what else? Let's get one more, I'm feeling drawn to do more. Okay, tell me about this Palace, or this uh, Four of Wands. Just like past relationships or past things didn't work out, but they're saying yes, it's possibly because of resistance. It wasn't your path. Yeah, some type of denial was going on. So denying, um, you could be denying a twin flame connection too. For some of you, that's another thing. You could be denying that, you know, denying that path um, at this time or wanting to bring it back to life. There's two different stories coming through. Uh, for some of you, it's just to repress emotions and some rejection. Um, and seeing below the surface, we're kind of denying um, in some type of denial about the situation, like it being over, um, needing to have to go in a different direction, denying that that's more resistance, right? When we're in denial, that's resistance. So we need to appreciate thing, appreciate that denial, appreciate, you know, what didn't work out on that way, but did will eventually, you know, as in like, not what didn't work out, but what is going to work out because it's, is putting appreciate the the free will your free will or someone else's free will to deny this and didn't maybe to deny the connect the connection I feel like as well, uh, but for those of you that that doesn't apply to it's just more of a denial of this external and internal battle that's going on, um, but they're saying appreciate when those doors didn't open because they weren't your path because we want the four of wands to be open to us. It's a beautiful card. That's about coming together. That's about celebrations. That's about home. That's about stability. Um, but appreciate if something didn't work out for you because it wasn't meant to. Um, you could like be selling a home. I feel like for some of you, or you were like a realtor. Then we have free will. So be happy that this didn't work out. Like that this was what happened is there was your free will and someone else's. And eventually that's what, what, um, what took place is to is that ultimately was like mm -mm, no not your door just not your door and appreciate that 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 there was the free and that you have your own free will to choose as well so now you've got doors opening to you and they'll start to open once um 
some of this stuff is healed. Oh my gosh. Wow, you guys. Oh my goodness. I don't say that as a gender thing. I'm just from up north. Oh my goodness. This is a beautiful reading. Please let me know if it resonated, if any of this made sense uh, for this pile. And uh, wow, this is beautiful. So good luck to you. You've got this. I know you do. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you like a personal reading, the link is down below. You can like and share and subscribe and comment and all that nonsense if you'd like. And I'll see you for the next pick a card reading. Take care. Okay. So if you chose the lovely fish, fish bones, this is your reading. So let's find out what your blind spot is. So what is blocking your path? Remember, this is general, but you can uh, pick more than one pile. Uh, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Thank you everyone for all your likes and your shares and subscribes and comments and personal readings and reviews have been magical. Thank you so, so much for loving my channel. Uh, thank you for checking out my friends down below with a joy forever and um, enlightened visions. So today we're gonna do a really cool topic. We are going to find out what is blocking your path, what is uh, what your blind spot is within a situation. Um, it is pretty blunt, so just know it could trigger you, but you know, and you can pick more than one pile, like I said, uh, that is fine, whatever you're drawn to. So uh, the more you know, right? <laughs> Man, I feel like I'm back in the 80s. With the uh, rainbow, the more you know. <laughs> Anyways, okay. All right, so you have the number four, beautiful, okay. All right, so these are, I think they're pronounced sigils, but they might be sigils. Uh, I'm maybe saying it wrong this whole time, but uh, that's how it comes through. So I'm just like, I don't know how it's supposed to be said, but that's how, that's how I hear it, so, okay. So, number four. Four is about stability and balance, so what's, what's, uh, what's blocking that? Let's see, okay, your motives. If you have drawn the sigil, you are not aware of your true motives in the situation at hand. In order to avoid the consequences of this blind spot, you are going to have to be brutally honest with yourself about your actual intentions, motivations, and desires. You're going to have to do this even if it makes you feel as though you may be a bad person. As people, life is torture for us to live if we have a poor self-concept. We have to see ourselves as good. But this means that for the sake of seeing ourselves a certain way and being seen a certain way, we are perfectly capable of even fooling ourselves about the truth of our actual motives, intentions, and desires. For example, we might gossip and plot against someone simply because we are so envious or jealous of them. We might tell ourselves that we are marrying for love when in fact we are marrying a person simply because of status or security. We may say yes to something we don't want to do, but act as if we do want to do it so that we can get whatever reward we are after. Eee, okay, all right, starting out heavy from the gate. Kind of calling you guys out, I'm sorry to say. Woo. Okay, well then. Okay, so our true motive is being hidden. Okay, so it says, Oh yeah, like when somebody says, after everything I have done for you. Mm, okay, so you were only looking to get a reward for what you were doing, that's not the way that this works. Okay, the problem isn't the motive itself. The problem is we are fooling ourselves about it and fooling others about it. This makes it deceit. So there's some type of deceit, um, it's whether it's within yourself or it's being reflected back at you from someone external to you, so that could be it. Uh, but this is also knowing that if we do something, are we doing it purely uh, for selfish reasons? Are we doing it for selfish and unselfish reasons? Are we doing it all for unselfish reasons? And kind of that's what's blocking you is your actual motives don't match uh, like your the external and internal. So there's some type, type of deception um, going on um, and it could be you just very well are deceiving yourself. That's what it is saying. I'm sorry, but don't you, don't you the messenger. This is what they're saying, okay? Because it says the problem is we are fooling ourselves about it and fooling others about it. This makes it deceit. If we want to transcend this blind spot, blind spot we must be willing to feel shame. 
We must be willing to really admit to ourselves what our actual motives, intentions, and desires are, even if doing so makes us see ourselves as bad or wrong. Otherwise, we are leading ourselves and others straight down the path of suffering. Yeah, exactly, because then you're making decisions for others that, in, that are making them for them because you're deceiving them. So being more honest and truthful about your intentions is gonna get you more than being deceptive, especially if you're around an empath or people like me. <laughs> Good luck. You'll only be able to do it for so long. So, unless you're pathological and then in psychology, then I understand you even more. So it's, you're never gonna get away from me um, as a dece deceptive person. Um, I will know within probably the first five minutes of meeting you, uh, what how I want to rock with you and then I let you kind of <laughs> figure out if you're gonna rock with me <laughs> okay all right okay that's funny sorry they're cheeky today they're very funny okay so let's pull some tarot on this and find out uh so what is going on with this resistance what is what are you de what are you um, in denial about So this could be about, uh, like if you're feminine watching, this could be about your father, your brother, uh, a masculine energy in your life particularly. Now again, it doesn't have to be, but it does relate somehow. So think about who this could be. If you are this man, then you're going to know if this is you. Okay, watching because you may have picked this pile. So you may be a fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have heavy fire here with the king of wands reversed and um, the seven of wands reversed, okay? So very defensive energy, like you don't wanna let anybody in, you're very defensive to your path, but letting others take their own path may be difficult for you to see and let go of currently. Uh, you may be experiencing a lot of explosive energy, so uh, very ego, in your ego, very wanting to control things. This person wants to control those things. If it's not you, again, it's very an ego controlled uh, uh, sorry, I'm feeling a lot more going on here. So almost like you feel like your fire has been put out. Some of you feel like your spark has been put out, like you are not on the right path. You're resisting someone or something as well. Um, you could be resisting yourself and in seeing that your hidden motives are very obvious to others or when people find you out about that, you just get pissed off, okay? So I'm just gonna call you out. That's just what it could be. It's a very angry energy um, in a way, but also very controlled energy. So it doesn't like to lose control over their temper, their emotions. Um, but they may get into a place where they're so depressed that they want to change something. So you could be very depressed and wanting to change something very, very deeply within yourself. And it is motive related. So what are you doing with your own motives? How are you balancing your own motives when it comes to relationships specifically? So let's get some more energy here. Let me get some more tarot on this. Okay. being able to be more fluid in admitting mistakes, admitting when you are wrong, um, when this person needs to admit that they're wrong as well. It may have done you some damage because their words hurt you. Their actions hurt you. Okay, if it's not you. Okay, could work with this person. We have the six of coins here. feeling that with the six of coins upright so this is wanting to work together needing to work together um, trying to keep your temper under control if you have employees or people around you that um, depend on you financially it's only having this much to give and not enough like not this ten of coins so wanting to possibly leave a relationship behind or the breakup of a relationship or you saw in the past your parents um, relationship was not very was not very good 
um, for some of you. That's not all of you. That's just that's just one message for this person. Maybe their parents' relationships weren't good. But really what they want is to work together. They just don't have a lot to offer. They only have the six of coins. They don't have this ten of coins, but that's what they're working towards. But they sure do have a lot of love, and you do too. Like here's this palace of cups. That is the most beautiful card when it comes to being in tune with their emotions. They're in a very emotional person. They have, um, they could be a father. Um, this could be your father or this could be like your husband is a father, okay? Or the person you're interested in is, is a father of some sort, okay? Um, this could be about your situation. Like they have to give to, they have to give to like their family. Um, a lot of where they, you know, they have to support their family. Therefore, they can't be this ten of coins yet they can only be the six of coins they can only be um it can only be so grounded and this is what they can give in the physical but they have a lot of love to give and you have a lot of love to give okay and you're and you're giving to others they're saying that as well they're saying like because you give to others that you have that you know your your pockets aren't like overflowing but they they see what you do they see all of the things that you yeah they see all of those things Okay, they recognize you. They see you for the businesswoman or man that you are. Okay, they see that a lot of you. That's what you are. You are. You own. You own a business, or you or you have. Um, you're very charitable. You work in in charity. Um, beautiful energy here. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. And because possibly your father was poor, you decided to try and, you know, you're blessed in the fact that you have a beautiful, loving family or this palace of cups where you can share. Um, your emotions you may not be able to always you know support everybody financially but you want to you want to be in that tenth coin and you're working very hard to get there yeah relationship change yeah so some of you um, want some domestic harmony or you want to get away from a relationship because you are not experiencing domestic harmony for those of you but this is uh, this could be relationship changes with your father or somebody of a masculine energy that th that things are changing. They're moving into a domestic harmony. So they may be going from like uh, engaged to married or dating to engaged to married. Like the next step of um, and and you're gonna see your relationships change. And they're saying that that will help you become unstuck as well. Um, it's looking into having this harm, feeling this harmony. Uh, making some changes speaking your speaking uh, your mind is what I'm getting here too. using uh, Like doing throat chakra meditations is going to help here. We have one two three four cards here that are blue That really talk about that Ex expression is going to be big. Yeah Yeah, number nine. So completing um, some type of uh, Coming to the end of something so we've completed something you've either made a relationship change and now you're feeling very harmonious within that or you will or you may, you know, that's what you're working on, um, working in the material world, trying to complete something. That's the third eye there with the completion. And once again, another throat chakra healing. Okay, so there's going to be some type of healing that needs to be done in this connection. Uh, 46, 56, that's going to be significant. Those could be ages. We have 66 here. Um, that's healing past uh, relationships it's healing energy so uh, being able to speak up for yourself more and more when it comes to your family um, stepping up for them taking care of certain f family members is gonna is coming through okay so I'm so sorry my uh, my lovely viewers my camera uh, was not recording what I was just doing uh, for your pile um, and I had to stop it and restart it and so, uh, <laughs> I apologize. You didn't get to see these cards come out. You didn't get to see, uh, this part. So I uh, just want to let you know that, uh, that, that these cards, obviously when it switched, the video switched over, you see all these cards, but it wasn't recording. So I'm going to go over it again. I'm going to go over the cards again and what I feel again and, and um, kind of fill in the gaps. Cause I know we're kind of down here within this, um, you have like uh, every 10 years, there's there's this uh, cycle of every 10 years. So we have 46, 56, and 66, and we have 10 here. So in 10 year increments, you might have gone through a lot of changes within 10 years, and you're close to another, ending another cycle with this nine, with this completion here. Okay, so what you don't see is that, or what your blind spot you might be, is that you're not, you're not seeing that there's a new path or a new way to go, and possibly a relationship change, um, or your, your relationship evolves with another person in, in 
into some domestic harmony. So the domestic harmony is here to say that a lot of things have been karmic, your karmic cycles within, within your relationships have now come to um, some type of understanding. There's now more of a harmony within your partnerships um, at home, or that's what you're looking for, or that's what you want. Um, so, and I can see that there's some type of karmic completion here. So whether you know it or not, it's kind of come in to be like, keep going, especially with this perseverance here. Like you may be wanting to give up, especially if you're in business, I feel like you may be wanting to, to, um, give up on it or, or something has gone, you know, you've gone from the 10 to the six being very, very, uh, wealthy and, and, you know, the pandemic has has messed with so much of the economy including businesses so you could be a business owner and have taken a really big hit or taxes have been really um, a lot higher or something along those lines i do feel it as well so let me move this over because i'm sitting more to the right here so um i feel like this this is trying you're trying to get some type of balance and what they're saying is like your blind spot here is like um is that you're not seen to keep going like you're almost to the end like be, don't give up is what i'm is what i'm hearing don't give up on your dreams they are manifesting um and that you are you know manifesting something when you are asleep so you know keep doing uh those meditations and manifestations while you're dreaming um listening to to those is going to help your situation Okay, for the five billionth time, I'm going to try and record your, your pile here. Okay, so apparently your battery might be dying. You might need a new phone. Batteries might be an issue. You might be having issues with electronics. We are still, from what I understand, in Mercury retrograde. Uh, I'm not sure when that actually ends, but just know that that's uh, being, you know, you're being shown that as well. So another uh, possibility of this blind, you know, this blind spot is it has to do with possibly like a twin flame dynamic here. We have twin flames. Okay, so this could be about um, domestic harmony with the twin flame, completing a cycle, doing some big healing, healing within your connection. Um, you may not be seeing that, um, may not be seeing a path yet, a pathway yet. I do feel like you do connect with this person through music, um, or you, if you haven't met this twin flame, this is something that you're interested in and maybe possibly uh, looking into about like coming into contact with your twin flame. Uh, sorry here, this just stay open. I think it keeps closing. I don't understand why. Um, I apologize. We're not recording anymore, are we? Oh my God. Are we? I can't tell. <laughs> oh, this is just awful. Okay. I'm going to, it didn't turn. It didn't, there was no sound saying it disconnected from the camera. Or anything like that. I just don't understand what's happening here. So much, so many things. <laughs> okay, so sorry, y'all. Uh, let's see if it's got a battery thing that we can find out what's going on here. The battery. Battery. Okay, we're gonna turn this off and maybe that will help keep it on. Okay, and we're back. Okay, so definitely this is part of like uh, your hidden path here to, it's, there's like a detour with this with this twin flame. Um, and there may be something you're not seeing yet. Um, I can't remember if that's what part of your message was, but we're gonna look at that again uh, from your blind spot here. So it's talking about slowing down, exploring, possibly going in a new direction. You are thinking about going in new directions. There could be a hidden path. This hidden path may involve your twin flame or something to do with like a relationship here with the number fours here. Those are about stability and relationships within the connection, especially with this palace of cups. Okay, so there's, you've already possibly built this up. You have a lot of emotions for this person. Um, emotions bubbling under the surface. Um, if you are, you know, a masculine and you resonate with this King of Wands energy, or if you're feminine and you resonate with that energy, whether that's outside of you or your own energy, just know that um, it, it's kind of like maybe there's like a fin there's financial uh, burdens that kind of come within this connection, or you're feeling like maybe. Um, like where to invest your time. So you've only got like maybe this six of coins, 
and you used to have 10, you know, you used to be able to invest more time and effort into something and maybe you're feeling like your energy split in two, like you're having to go in two different directions, trying to figure out at a, possibly at a crossroads where to go. Um, pay attention to your dreams. What they're saying is that you're, you possibly need to dream journal as well. That's, that's part of the advice here they're saying and music is going to be very, very helpful. Um, within your connection within um, yourself with it that'll help heal you as well as what I'm getting you could be a musician you could be a singer songwriter uh, any of those things um, music could be very very uh, cathartic <laughs> to many many people I love music um, and you may be seeing like music in your dreams or things like that uh, so it's possible that you and this other person is are also have mirrored feelings so if you're wondering how this person feels about you how you feel about them um, there's definitely a lot of uh, of that same energy back and forth like you both are having the same having the same feelings about each other um, you know this is possibly a twin flame dynamic or you know kind of that term or it's like a soul a very deep soul connection because we have past life here so this is a person that you've been with in your past life and this is also kind of past lives coming to through and they're surfacing in your dreams um, this is part of something you've manifested and what you're doing now kind of has something to do with what you did in your past life. Um, and you may have hurt someone deeply in the past or they hurt you or you both hurt each other. You know, that, that's how relationships work. You know, nobody's 1000% like not, you know, to blame at all. You know, relationships take two. So I feel like there's been some deep hurts in the past, maybe possibly from some deception here with this deeply hurt and this tricked card here. So... Yeah, there could have been some type of deception being tricked in the past, feeling like somebody was trying to hurt you by tricking you into something or tricking you about something or not being honest or some type of deception. Uh, whoever's part that's on, you know, you know, I'm not judging. It's just here. So it's just saying that this is possible. What is what is kind of like what you're not seeing is that they they have the same feelings as you do about this. They may want this relationship to change, whether it's to go... Um, whether you, you part ways and complete a cycle and you go about your healing or whether you heal the connection. Okay, so there's like this being being tugged towards, you know, one path or the other is what I'm getting. Or it could be, you know, two different people. Uh, but it could very much surround finances here. So uh, I'm getting very, very strongly that a lot of you own your own business uh, or are trying to go in that way and you have, or you have multiple things that you sell uh, or that you, that you produce and that's really beautiful here. So I, I love that. And that's, they're, they're expressing, you know, to, you know, pay yourself more, give yourself more credit. You're doing better than you think. Um, it may not show within your finances, but it's within who you are as a person, but you may not be feeling like yourself, especially with this King of Wands reverse. I feel like, especially if you got strong fire or you, you see that, you see this, that this person could possibly around you be trying to manipulate you for money. I'm trying to get you to sell something. They want their portion of it is what I'm also getting here. Um, and they're going to be ruthless about it and, you know, not very kind um, in trying to get their way. Okay. And this may just be your energy. Like you may be feeling very uh, exhausted, overworked. Your battery's dead. The batteries keeps dying. And my, you know, here very quickly that, um, on the camera there and then here and then everything gets disconnected. And so it's like, it's like you have to keep recharging yourself. Um, and this could be because, uh, you may see a lot of feathers around as well, but this could be the person, the reason why you're having some issues is because people around you or your person, um, is undependable and insincere. So that could be exactly what's going on here. You see them, um, that way. And maybe that's, um, how they see you in the past. Like maybe you were independent, independent, undependable, excuse me, and insincere, uh, in, in the ways of the heart here. And um, we have heart, love, deep affection, and caring. So yeah, there's definitely this, like I said, with this Palace of Cups and this Twin Flame, this is definitely the energy of, of you have these deep feelings for, for your person, for, for the situation, for whoever it is. And it may be matters of the heart, you know, that, you know, you both are probably feeling the same exact way. You love each other. You have deep affection. You do care about each other. You do want to heal this. You do want to kind of over come it or figure out a solution 
So yeah, and spilling truth. So there's definitely something about some deception here again. Um, we've got that tricked and then we've got spilling truth. So this is like being truthful with each other, being truthful about this connection. Maybe you haven't talked about this connection and that would be significant to talking about it and saying like, hey, I think you're my person and here's why. And it doesn't matter the label, we can call it whatever we want as long as we understand the way it makes us feel, the way it makes our heart feel, okay? Um, but at times this could be, it could be feeling that you're trapped or tied up within a connection or within a situation like you can't move forward um, is what they're saying with that trapped and tied up. So it's it's almost like once you come to terms with, with this, you feel trapped and tied up. This other person feels trapped and tied up. There's definitely been some hurts on each on each part and there's definitely this past life energy and this clashing here so this just causes clashes it causes uh arguments and disagreements or this is possibly what happened in the past and this is what happens is you've got ice and fire fighting it out trying to battle each other instead of working together with the six of coins here which is about um collaboration uh very very beautiful energy i'm really loving this so let's see, um, I know we talked about this sigil at the very beginning, and so I'm going to look it up again. And so, uh, yeah, you're not aware of your true motives in the situation at hand. <sighs> you have to be honest with yourself and about your actual intentions. So your actual intentions may not may not match what you're, how you're acting and your words and your actions may not match. And it's because you're not sure where you stand. You're not quite sure because there's something hidden about this. There's something that hasn't been, um, hasn't been shown to us yet. Um, yeah, even if you think you're a bad person, even if you have to be like, I gotta, I gotta go, or I gotta break, I, you know, I need to break away, or I feel trapped or tied up, and trying to get away from that feeling. Um, but sometimes we're fooling ourselves about our actual motives, intentions, and desires, and so you know we have to really be be honest with ourselves about that and with others uh, because you know if we act in integrity uh, we should be getting we should expect the same integrity back okay and not everybody can handle the truth and things like that but it's like opening up and expressing exactly how you feel is going to be significant it's it's like almost like like with this blue like I was saying before with the throat chakra it's like really speaking your peace speaking about the things that are important to you on your mind and expressing to your person how you feel um, so the problem is the, the problem is we're fooling ourselves about it and fooling others about it this makes it deceit yeah so that's just deceitful and it, especially if we kind of keep other people on the fence with us or we keep ourselves on the fence then we aren't making a decision. We're not actually doing anything. We're just kind of like sitting there. And sometimes that's okay, but after a while, like nobody understands what you're really trying to do. Are you gonna get off the fence? Are you gonna stay on the fence? Like you're gonna, you're gonna fall off the fence? Like what's gonna happen <laughs> here? Like what, what are we doing? <laughs> okay, so if we want to transcend this blind spot, we must be willing to feel shame. So there must be some type of shame in there and, and understanding about our actual motives, intentions, and desires. Um, even if they make us look like a bad person, remember it's not, you're not a bad person um, unless you're leading other people down a suffering road with you when you could release them and let them go. Easily let them be, um, let, you know, surrender. Okay, and we have the power of surrender cards and so I'm going to pull from that and see what do you need to surrender. What will help you with this blind spot? What can you surrender right now? And what will help you with this blind spot? And maybe you have past life issues with this person and that's why you took it out on them again and then you guys keep deeply hurting each other. It's because of some of those issues that haven't quite been either understood or addressed. And that's been, uh, that has damaged possibly your connection surrender negative thinking so yeah we have to remember this it's really hard to do but it is something that is is we need to work on every day is to surrender any type of negative thought process you have control over your thoughts when negative thoughts surface say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations yeah so once you've gotten into that energy of surrendering this type of negativity and low vibrational situation uh, for yourself and your thoughts then everything will kind of start to make more sense and open up
for you and your connection. And it's also going to help you see paths in your life um, that you hadn't really noticed before, that there is this hidden path, that there is um, a very deep connection with someone. You could be looking for your twin or wondering about who they are if you haven't met them. And so that's really about that. It's also some connection that's heavy on your heart. This twin flame is very heavy on your heart. Um, this card is very much next to it and with the Palace of Cups, it's like this deep, deep love for this person. Uh, but you guys both may feel the same way. You may be surprised when you actually talk about this with your person or if you're not in a relationship, you may be surprised at like the feelings that, you know, you've been feeling, they've been feeling as well. So, uh, you know, you may be surprised at the situation that kind of shows you something. It's also a relationship change that so somebody could be coming in. Um, like you may be unhappy with someone and they may, may be unhappy with you and you guys are like, oh my God, thank God for telling me because I, I don't, I didn't want to hurt your feelings. I didn't want to be the bad guy. I didn't want to be an asshole, you know, for saying these things, but this is how I'm feeling, you know, and sometimes, sometimes again, it is your feelings and you're, you're very much okay to have whatever feelings you have because that's acceptable. It's how you act upon those feelings. Um, that is important. So that's what they're saying here as far as your blind spot. It's how you act upon them. Are you acting with integrity? Um, or are you still not sure what your motives are, which is not making it clear to everybody else what you're really trying to do here? <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> and to surrender that negative thinking will help with your, with your movement and your growth. So, oh my gosh, this was so lovely. I loved it so, so much. I hope you guys did too. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to leave a comment or a like or subscribe, that's wonderful. I appreciate all of those things. And I'm so glad you rocked with me today. And if you picked a different pile, that's awesome. You can pick as many piles as you want in this reading. This is definitely like whatever you're drawn to. If you're drawn to multiple or all of them, you definitely do that. So, and if you're interested in a personal reading, that link is also down below. And some of the beautiful uh, products from A Joy Forever and Enlightened Visions will also be linked down below if you're interested. They are amazing uh, small business owners and I love them so much. So uh, definitely give them, a, give them a look at their their stuff. Their heart balm is incredible. Their soaps, her soaps, um, you know, like it's amazing. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next Pick a Card reading. Take care. All right, so if you picked pile number three or this lovely Oh, there we go. This lovely rocking horse. Pile number three. Oh, I was just thinking about this pile. Okay, remember I said like childhood issues, some past life um, healing relationships with parents is going to be really significant. It's one of the things that could be blocking you. Um, but let's find out what uh, what's blocking you. What uh, what is your blind spot? What do you need to know? Okay, number twenty. All right, so let's find out what what you're not seeing. Alrighty, I'm gonna read from the book. It has um, it's very lengthy on some of them, so I'll just uh, skim as much as possible, depending on the card. Sometimes they're pretty much to the point. Okay, number twenty. You don't know, but you think you know. If you have drawn this sigil, I think it's sigil or sigil. Sorry, I'm not really sure what the word if somebody knows you can let me know down below you think you know everything and a circumstance but actually you do not do not know everything and a critical piece of information is missing consider that this piece of inform information or awareness might be something no one sees yet or it might be a piece of information being provided already by someone from the outside that is being rejected in this situation, acting from what you know is acting in ignorance. Okay, so if you think you know something about a situation or about a person or about whatever um, whatever you're not seeing in your life, and we'll get more into this, they're saying that there's something critical that you're either missing or that you're not privy to that changes the game and affects this, this whole entire dynamic. So just know from a psychological perspective, uh, where I would go with this as a, as a counselor. It's like you're a counselor, you could be in mental health, you could be a nurse or a doctor, uh, so, some of those a healer, a healer, we're getting that like a shaman type energy, like you have done a lot of past life work or shadow work, or you're about to, 
<laughs> okay. And a lot of this has to do with some trauma, some things that happen, some trauma through childhood. And there's some things that you may not know that you've grown up either being like the truth has been weaved in between the lies. And so it's just kind of like, I feel like this is the same pile I picked uh, around Christmas time. And I was talking about like the Capitol it was way before all this. And I was talking about that. So I'm going to see if I can find that video. And you probably were the same pile that um, I'm thinking of that picked this, that, that you picked this. So something you think you know about a situation, there's more to it. There's something you're not privy to yet or nobody sees it yet. So the path may not have opened up yet is what I'm also what I'm getting for your situation. So just know that like, objectively you got to be up here in this energy of like being at the top of something and kind of watching and observing currently and seeing what you can figure out okay like a i'm being told like a lock on a safe like you spin the lock to the combination okay so your combination could have a 20 or a two in it if you've got a safe um this could be a safety deposit box too wow they're giving me so much stuff uh, so the desire to know is not in and of itself negative. It's not. Um, so it says this desire to be the one who knows is not in and of itself negative, but there is a shadow side to the quest for knowledge. Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's just what I was saying. That's exactly what I felt was the shadow work. Okay. And I know basically nothing about this book. This is a brand new deck. I've only used it maybe twice before just pulling maybe like two cards at the time. So this is brand new. Okay, so this is the shadow side is that knowledge is that knowledge is often used by the ego as a security blanket. So it's almost like the more that you say like you know about something or the more that you're um, expressing it, the, the less likely people even listen to it. It's like when you tell them you have background in it, they're like, huh? No, no. Like, this is a quest for knowledge. So there's something that you still have to find out about this and that your ego is preventing you from moving forward because it's using this knowledge is a security blanket to actually learn something about the other side of the situation that you either haven't been been privy to or okay sorry about that y'all so it is easy then to see how the ego could use knowledge to avoid insignificance personal insecurity and worthlessness so it's almost like what could be blocking you is materialism of some sort that needs to be addressed or some type of knowledge that hasn't been come to, hasn't come to light yet. But it's also balancing out the ego about being able to, um, so this is gonna be beautiful because we've all been through this and Texas got hit really hard. Y'all do know that. So, um, you know, here was just, it was very awful for a lot of us and it made me so grateful for everything that I have, for running water, for power, for food, for, uh, you know, electricity, like just everything to do with the things that we need to survive. So it's talking about survivalism. So right now they're saying prepare for more events like this is in like, this is kind of, sadly to say, this is kind of going to be with us for a few years. Um, we are working very hard on, you know, keeping that under control as best as possible. I know that, you know, that's where they're saying put your energy into if you haven't already. So it says, knowledge also helps us to avoid future calamity. I can't express that more calamity, future calamity. <laughs> if we know the winter is coming, we can stock up on food and survive the winter. If we do not know what is coming, and do not stock up on food, we may die. I'm also getting very strongly Game of Thrones, so if you haven't watched that, and, <clears throat> or, you know, maybe you already like it, so there you go. Um, yeah, we may die. If we are a person who worries about the future, and most of all, who does not trust ourselves to create a reality, reality that feels good to us, knowledge becomes a tool for self-protection. It is the worrier's best friend. Knowledge is often used by the ego to keep itself away from the rocky seas of uncertainty because cognitive closure makes us feel safe. So the ego is obsessed with the quest for truth and knowledge because it is convinced that knowledge and truth will help unwanted things from happening to it. But the unknown holds a glaring truth. 
like a clam holds a pearl. And that truth is that the state of learning is a higher state than knowing. Absolutely. So this is a thirst for knowledge, a quench for knowledge. Just know that you're not going to know everything by the time we pass over. But we're going to know quite enough because we put in years and whatever time is and minutes and seconds and whatever into into each lifetime. And so it's, it's very it's very beautiful, but it's saying that you have to balance that out with the spiritual side, letting the rest flow to you in time and realizing you don't know everything. Like I didn't know anything about tarot when I first bought my first decks. I was very young. Um, I've been collecting decks for a very long time, um, since I was 19 and I'm 39. So that's 20 years or I'll be 39 in 20 days. Actually, 17 days on the 20th. So 20, oh my gosh, y'all 20. I just noticed it. <laughs> okay. So this must be for me too. So, oh wow. That's beautiful. So it says, open your mind. Operate with the intention of understanding everything. Let curiosity be your mental set point, knowing that a critical piece of understanding which you do not have right now will come to you at any time and from anywhere, even potentially the most unlikely sources. So what they're saying is that, is to open your mind, have an open mind, that things are working out the way they're supposed to. Uh, yeah. You were probably also really drawn to pile number one. Um, I highly recommend picking as many piles as you want because you can learn something from every pot, every pile. So yeah, so it's trying to understand the situation, understanding yourself as well. It's very beautiful. Okay. So let's see. Ah, oh my gosh, this is incredible. I feel like your awareness is heightened. It's it's very beautiful and I'm loving that. Like I'm helping enlighten and it is with love. You know, I want you all to be to be loved. To feel more love. So heavy Virgo energy here. Yeah. So we have cup here. So you should accept valid criticism. So when criticism comes in, like the other day, I received some criticism about the change in the camera. And I actually felt very relieved because I was like, you know what? It feels the same to me. The last uh, recording didn't feel authentic. The last couple of recordings didn't feel authentic. And I had a lot of a lot of difficult time setting it up, setting the camera up. It took, it took forever just to get a reading done. So, and then when somebody said, you know what, I really liked it when you did it from the other angle, I thought, oh my gosh, thank goodness. <laughs> I was like, it feels more like I'm giving to you, like I'm reading for you. Like you'd be sitting down at my table, which is what I want. This is how I'd be, you'd be sitting across from me. This is how it would look to you. And then I would, you know, it'd be backwards, yes, because it's to me for you, <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's like my whole entire world. <laughs> like, if you know anything about my personality, woo! Okay, so staff, just know you'll be taking care of at difficult times. The divine is there to assist you. Uh, have faith in that. Have faith in the fact that your ancestors and your grandparents are taking care of you. They're watching over you, and they're also intervening in your life the way that um, things need to be done. You can call on them in hard times. That's what they're saying. They miss you and they love you. We're saying hi from the other side. We have the dog close up pleasure with a close friend. So somebody who has a dog, you could be very well. This could be one of your friends. I have lots of friends who have beautiful dogs <laughs> and they're lovely. I love it. I should just post like my friend posted there. I'm never going to not want pictures of your dog. <laughs> so I was like, Ooh, uh, I wanted to post like more, but it only let me post one, but I want to keep going. So, cause she's so pretty. Okay. So I'm going to, um, this is basically saying like the things that, you know, that like go ahead and hang out with, with your people, you know, uh, they, you know, they see you as 
is very powerful. Um, they may have a dog, you may have a dog, but it's also talking about just hanging out with friends, um, that friends will help you get through this difficult time as well. Accepting valid criticism and understanding that it's, when anybody says anything that offends you, it's because you haven't healed something inside of you that says like that's offensive or why do I feel that way, you know? And am I being authentic and not being able to accept it? It's, it's hard. It's a hard thing to do. So accepting criticism there, accepting when somebody, you know, offers it to you because they're helping you grow. Um, this throne is position of authority. So this could be something that you are, that you have as a position of authority. And so you have to kind of navigate uh, social situations based on that, based on, uh, you know, kind of uh, standing up for yourself, your power. Fire, yeah, fire signs coming through here. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Okay, so this definitely is showing me that for most of you, you're very fiery, you're very, if you don't have fire in your chart, it's like you have this lit, um, this lit, lit, like this fire in your soul that's lit. So when you feel something, you feel it very strongly. Um, this may evoke some type of, uh, some passionate love or passionate hate. This could be past relationships or people who do, who are dog owners. I'm telling you, like they're in your life that, you know, you're very either close with, you spend a lot of time with. Um, there could be a lot of uh, love hate going on there or some type of difficulties within, um, within that because when you love something so deeply, you also hate it so deeply too. So it's kind of like, <laughs> like what's happening? <laughs> Uh, so it's like, uh, be careful with, uh, um, you know, fire can burn. So, you know, there's like this, you know, way of coming across, you know, that can fill the fire. Yeah, it's like the fire. So you're trying to like fuel the flames of the fire. Like, yeah, they want to like, as soon as somebody can get under your skin, that's like their, their goal. So it's like, you know, you have a fire under, under your soul. Um, to be in a position of authority, um, as well as being able to uh, accept valid criticism here. Okay, so let's see, what is their blind spot? What is their blind spot? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I felt that with, um, it's either a younger water sign, like a brother, uh, specifically it needs like healing with, uh, or your son, or uh, it's also just representative of love, the page of cups is love straight up that puppy love it's like puppy love I'm gonna call it that and I don't I've never heard that before so I'm gonna name it my puppy love card but yeah y'all are gonna know this is my puppy love card this is and also somebody that you very much care about and so this could be in your energy that you have strong love or hate for this person because with love comes hate with hate comes love you can't you can't have one without the other without being able to appreciate both nine of cups Okay, so yeah, wishes and dreams and hopes and want, want, wanting things to work out. And also, this person, you know, you get 10 of cups there with if you combine that. It goes very, very quickly. It goes from there. And also, this could be, this could be your husband and this is your child or husband and brother or your, like something along the lines of like friends that are water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here so yeah um celebrating i get celebrating i get drinking i get having fun um you know i get love i get love you know so i feel like this is this is what you're not seeing um there's a lot of people who love you is what i'm getting they, they respect you they see you as somebody who maybe can take valid criticism who has a dog who's very loving you know yeah and you're slow moving in, in the energy but it's like slow to get to know and slow um they're saying take it slow um, don't drink too much. Um, you know, be careful with that. I feel like there's definitely that energy here. Yeah, you have a wall up. So you've been through a lot. People know you've been through a lot. You take it very, you know, you kind of like take it slow in your life because of that. Um, you may like to go out and hang out with your friends. Um, you have a lot of friends, a lot of admirers, a lot of people that, you know, love you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you're either a mother or this queen of cups. Yeah, it's insane. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's all the resistance here. And this is somebody who's like, he's, he's just kind of sitting there. 
It doesn't look like he's been through a lot, but in most of the decks, it's like the Wounded Warrior card. So you get to the Nine of Wands and you're almost at the den and you're like, oh my God. <laughs> You're like, please, just pick me back up. <laughs> I've been through way, way too much shit. Like, can you just pick me back up off the floor? And they also have a wall for a reason. This Knight of Coins has a wall. So Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is coming through. And this Queen of Cups is so lovely. Look at this. This is somebody who's compassionate, loving, kind. Uh, people see you as very loving, very kind. You're a good mom. They say you're a good mom if you're a mother. And you're good to your friends. You're very kind to them. You have a very beautiful energy. People love that about you. Yeah. They love how they feel safe with you. You make them feel very safe. Um, so these are like, this is like so good. Like it's not even blocks. It's like a, almost like they're saying like, here's what you need to be doing. You know, they're just going to, they're going to show you card wise. Like, here's what's going on, you know. And just live your life, you know. Like I said, it's gonna show you when it's your time to be seen what what your what your blind spot is. Okay, split energy. There we go. Okay, that makes a lot of sense too. Yeah, split energy. Yeah, the ego is taking over. There could be a lot of split energy due to a lot of ego. Um, the need to forgive somebody. Yeah, as he's coming through here, we have forgiveness. We've got the split energy first. So yeah, that's very much the energy of feeling very split between two paths or or one you know it's trying to to incorporate and integrate our ego in a healthy manner and a loving manner um, and that's where the ego comes in it comes with pride and jealousy and kind of low vibrational stuff um, so it's somebody wanting to you to let your guard down um, to make things right, uh, some type of forgiveness when it comes to love here with that page of cups for sure. Maybe something they did when they were younger. Um, they're trying to, they're trying to figure out like a way to express that, you know, they want your forgiveness or you want their forgiveness as well. So that could be one of the reasons like between your split between your ego and then forgiving somebody, which is a terrible place to be. Yeah. And this could be a masculine. Here we go. So you might have to forgive a masculine over his ego okay, or a masculine energy, it doesn't have to be masculine gender, um, splitting their energy, you know, and, you know, this is, this is that energy of, like, the masculine wanting to return, yeah, gotta have some balance, the masculine needs to balance himself out, get some type of forgiveness for this ego, could be yours or theirs, you know, that really, because there's a position of authority here, they're saying, like, you know, you've got that, you could have that, especially, Fire, fire has some some real good healthy ego usually, and so does air. You know, we're pretty awesome in that way, um, and and air signs are awesome in that way. There's nothing against the signs. It's just <laughs> see, there we go. There's that ego. They're like, well, I'm gonna tell you if the signs are good or not. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. So yes, finding some type of balance. Okay, all right. So let's see what else. What else is being block and everything is coming in 555 so you might see 555 a lot and that is a lot of changes usually for me I talk about that on my channel a lot they are not good um, or they're difficult changes and they're ones that require like checking of the ego forgiveness you know Splitting between wanting to forgive somebody and the ego. Those are two rough places to be in life. So, yeah. Treating you right. Yeah. So, wanting to treat you right. Wanting to keep their ego in check. Building up strength. Yeah. So, building up strength. The strength of, in this connection with the Knight of Coins. Building up their strength to forgive. To overcome their ego. To get trained get out of the split energy or just you guys if you've split up you know they want to you know kind of figure out a way to balance their ego with forgiveness yeah okay mm -hmm. that makes a lot of sense then. i'm being tricked okay so yeah you could have definitely been um there could have been some deception here in the past this is why that 10 or nine of wands yeah pretty much the 10 you might as well call it a 10 or an 11 death potion time for change yeah i needed some change needed to get some clarity in this connection yeah okay interesting oh man 
What happened with you guys? <laughs> Wee! Okay. There could have been a lot of deaths that took place, a lot of changes that changed them. Death changed them is what I'm getting to. So they may have gone through a lot of, um, of their own rebirth cycles too, like of their own, you know, wanting to forgive, wanting some balance, seeing you as very, 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 very beautiful, very handsome. You're intoxicating to them with that Queen of Cups. Your emotions. Yeah, so it's like trusting somebody after they fucked you over. You know, I feel that energy here. So they didn't do you right like they should have. You are protected and empowered. So we have protection and empowerment. Trust that you are protected. Trust in your own willpower. Uh, you're here to help protect the world. And that's part of what makes you so magical. What, what makes your... You may conserve a lot of water and be worried about, you know, and recycle and worried about the earth. And they're saying that's beautiful. Keep doing that. You are a very empowered person. You have a lot of energy of being a king or a queen of your own world or just, just stepping into that power. Um, <clears throat> and you know that you are, if it makes you feel empowered when you give back to the world and you're able to give back to the universe, give back to the people around you. Um, they're saying trust in your own willpower here too. So, and then you have a lot of willpower. This person has a globe. It's just like, I can do whatever I want with this. Like whatever I choose, these are the things that I can, um, that I, I can trust in, in having the willpower to bring this together, that you are protected. Okay. There's a lot of power. You've got two cards with power in them and a position of authority. So, this is a very powerful connection between you and your masculine, okay? If that's if that's the case or whoever um, whoever you're involved with, uh, whether you are the masculine in the situation, it still feels like that this is so empowering um, that you have the ability together to break barriers um, and to protect the world, okay? If you just get some some balance in here. Um, some strength and um, everything looks so good though and addressing that split energy and also just our blind spot our blind spot is because we've got our energy split and then sometimes we can't multitask and then we're giving too too much to too many uh, uh, directions uh, and then our energy can't actually be given the way it's supposed to on one thing at a time and so too much of that can become unhealthy um, but they're saying that like, you pretty much know this you know that this is like kind of your path and what your blind spot really is is something you may not even know yet you may not even see it they're talking about just focus on on the current on the current energy focus on the current um, your current situation and all the things that we talked about in the reading so oh my goodness this was incredible. This was so fun. I loved this reading. Uh, let me know what you thought. Like your blind spot was kind of interesting. It's kind of like, I'm a secret. You have to figure me out. And maybe somebody else will see me before you do. And you're like, whoa, this may be where this being tricked card comes in. We're like, what? Are you serious? Why are you tricking me? And they're like, are you tricking me? Or are you really going to treat me right? So somebody comes back and they want to treat you right. You're like, mm, are you? And they're building up the strength to do so. And it's time for a change. So things changing in the situation. Let's see. We need to get some more to confirm here. I need some confirmations. Tell me about. We're going to do a few more. Tell me about the. Uh, what their blind spot is. <laughs> spiritual partnership. Okay. So their, your blind spot is. Uh, you have a spiritual partnership. And it's, um, that's. You may be just learning about, or this may be something you're just kind of embracing. And so in order to do so, it's, it's kind of this, um, it's beautiful though. It's, a, it's almost like it's just, it's all coming together. So like, it's not overcoming that energy or that's a blind, it could be a blind spot because you're very focused on the spiritual partnership that you're missing the rest of the situation or, um, that's where the focus needs to be on is what they're saying. 
Mm -hmm. On healing. Okay, here we go. That too. So we can do, um, we deal with some, some healing. We need to do some healing as well. So that's really important for the connection. So third eye and throat chakra are going to be significant new beginnings. Ooh, that's at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so yeah, new beginnings. A new beginning of a spiritual partnership, which is going to help you grow. This is something that starts out with just like something slow, like a crush possibly. And um, this is also possibly somebody coming back after they've healed or you've healed. And this is kind of healing the situation. So I'm feeling it a couple different ways. So whatever your situation, that's cool. I hope this resonated. Please let me know down below if you'd like a personal reading. The link is down below and all the likes and the shares and the subscribes and, per and your personal readings and everything have been amazing. So if you want to do all those things, that's awesome. Uh, I'm going to be announcing the winner for the, uh, the deck, the power of love and uh, half off of reading with me. So I'm going to be announcing that within the next few days. So keep an eye um, out here and also on my Facebook and I will see you for the next Pick a Card reading. Take care. Okay, so if you chose pile number three, this lovely, beautiful moon, gold moon, this is your blind spot. So let's see what your... Goodness, I'm so sorry about the chair. Okay. So let's see what your blind spot is today. Um, and the, remember this is current energy. This could be triggering. Just know that this is criticism for your highest good. It is meant to be uh, sent with much love and um, growth for you. So it's, it's not meant to, I'm not here to harm you. You know, whatever it says is what it's saying. I'm reading it. It is very cutthroat. So just be aware. All right, so let's see what your blind spot is. Okay, number 35 could be significant um, in itself. Number eight here, okay, which is about infinity. And many other things, you can definitely look up the number eight. That could be significant August, uh, eight years, something to do with the number eight or the number 35. So uh, that could be an age, uh, like your favorite number, something along those lines. We have bypassing. If you have drawn this sigil, what you do not see is that you are bypassing in this situation. Bypassing is a coping mechanism that leads you to believe that actual resolution has taken place when it hasn't. Bypassing or whitewashing is the act of using beliefs to avoid facing or healing one's painful feelings, unresolved wounds, and unmet needs. It is a state of avoidance. Because it is a state of avoidance, it is a state of resistance. Okay. Okay, so spiritual beliefs of any spiritual tradition and even simply societal beliefs can provide ample justification for living in a state of inauthenticity. Yes, absolutely, especially if you were raised uh, within a faith, a specific faith or religion or spirituality, and it, you know, you made up your own mind as you grew up that some of these things didn't quite fit with yours and that you wanted to incorporate what you felt like religion or spirituality was to you. So it's living authentically. So it's saying that for some of you, you already know this and this isn't a surprise, but you're living inauthentic because of the beliefs that you have been shown as a child, um, that you grew up with, that your ancestors, your, your, uh, family have, uh, encouraged you to like kind of stand in these, in these, in this box or put you in this box. Um, what they're saying though is that this is inauthentic to who you actually are possibly not necessarily in a spiritual sense But also in a societal sense. It also has to do with just being authentic yourself. So what you thought you had uh, addressed or uh, healed or moved on from or or Confronted they're saying that that's there's there's something that's still not been dealt with Okay, whether you think it's over or has closure of some sort or not. It's not quite closed the door is still either open or that altogether has just been kind of whitewash. It's just like, oh, this doesn't exist. We're just going to paint over it. Okay, so somebody wrote on the wall type of deal is what I'm seeing. And then they're whitewashing over a whitewashing offense um, to change the color to make it more acceptable. Um, so you, somehow you have done that somewhere within yourself. And that's what they're saying is your blind spot. So this is what is kind of 
uh, keeping you from growing in your life. So let's get some let's get some more information about what this could be about. So we're gonna go through the Tarot of Dreams here and see see what all this is about here. Let's find out um, what has been whitewashed over. What does this pertain to as far as this bypassing? So. Uh, bypasses. You may live in a place where there's a lot of bypasses as well. So uh, highways, physical things. And this is also saying that there's so many, um, it's like a neural pathway is that they're showing me, um, which is beautiful. And I love that, you know, being into psychology and all, I'm just like seeing all these synapses fire in your brain. And they're saying that like somehow, some way you've chosen to whitewash a situation. Um, some, and, and that's that's the blind spot. Okay, so it's not over, it's not done with, it's not dealt with. Okay, this could be a, like if you've traveled and you've moved to a different state, this could be it for some of you for sure. This is going to be this, yeah, the world. Okay, there we go. But this is also about traveling. They're saying that you're not finished traveling the world, um, that you'd like to keep, keep traveling the world, that there's something, again, that is... Uh, it's not unfinished business because the world is saying like it's ready to start, but there's something within you that has has to do with your childhood home or your place of like your spirituality, your religion, whatever it is, it's almost being blocked. So with the Queen of Coins here, this is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. So you could be one of those signs. This also could pertain to someone that is your mother that you may live far away from, or you may be at a distance from some of your family, um, specifically a feminine here, but this is that palace of wands. Um, it's kind of like wanting to, wanting to heal this. This looks like it could be what needs to be healed. Could be some, some patterns that have to do with a feminine in your life and uh, has to do with possibly not, like there are people, um, like your tribe isn't quite where you're at, something about that, or like your full tribe is, is in another state or another country. Uh, yeah, you may be um, wanting to travel more and, and figuring out new ways to make money in order to travel and in order to be able to travel to go back home to see someone, but there's something about like uh, res resolving something with those from your past. Okay, what else? Okay, nine of coins, okay, yeah. Um, this is a stable energy within yourself. It's coming to, it's coming to know yourself completely and investing in yourself. Um, in your self-image, you may have a poor self-image. Just saying it for some of you, it just is, it's just showing an insecurity to do with possibly money. Um, again, it, ha it this judgment card is very, very significant here with uh, kind of showing me the situation, like saying like this it has to do with awakening to something that um, is not of the physical world. And so you've built your life in this physical idea, but the uh, metaphysical or the other side or the other world is still yet to teach you more and more as you go. Um, and there's, that's where those nine of coins come from. That's where the investing comes in, where uh, you may be investing in in a situation that you just you just know it's a comfort zone. Okay, it's a comfort zone is what I'm getting with the judgment card here and the nine of coins. Comfort, staying where you're comfortable. Okay, but also being pulled in another direction. I do feel that for some of you, it's it's trying with that world trying to travel. Um, World Wide Web is also coming through. Yeah, two of cups here. Okay, so this is also about like you and your person or a uh, love situation uh, as well. So coming together, you may now have awakened. You and your person may have gone through a very, very harsh awakening. Okay, and this is also kind of an energy of like awakening to this two of cups is like a soulmate card here. It has cancer at the top. This is the can sign of cancer. Um, so it is expressing that here, and it's it's about the emotions, about love. Um, so still still yet to find something out about a connection, like you're still working through the process of an awakening. And I feel like an awakening, most of us are like, oh, I awaken, and you know, it's just like no, like we awaken over a period of time, and it keeps going. Our whole lives, our new experiences, everything that we process, and everything, every person we meet, every every situation we're put into, it helps us grow, okay? And so your person could be here to show you that you have like a, like you guys have a very divine and spiritual connection and this path is here to kind of wake you up and shake you up and be like, oh, okay, wait, we, we have more to learn. 
we have more to do. We want to travel together. This is very beautiful. It's like being able to travel together with your person. And if not, it's like you want to travel to the person. If, if they are at a distance from you, it's, it's possibly that distance, long distance, even emotional distance is the problem um, for the connection. And so it kind of like blocks you from something. Uh, so you kind of feel like maybe you're doing things alone right now. Even if you are, you may feel very lonely right now in your dynamic, even though it's a beautiful, it's showing me it's a beautiful connection. So that could be it. So it's, it's kind of like, what, what else is kind of blocking that? Let's find out here. Okay. What's up with this palace of wands reversed? So what that blind spot is here. It's like awakening to your power, awakening to like, who cares what other people think is what I'm getting with that judgment card. Like who cares what people think? Be authentic to yourself or you'll always be this queen of coins reversed, uh, always questioning yourself, whether you're masculine or feminine, just being like, oh, I'm not good enough. Or I don't, I don't live up to so-and-so's views of me and in the eyes of like God or in the eyes of my religion, um, it's being, it's being like scorned or, you know, for living an authentic life. And they're saying you need to be authentic to yourself. Um, or it's going to come through in uglier ways. Okay. Because again, with that judgment card, they're going to be like, mm, this is not you. This is not how you're supposed to live. If you're making decisions from an in inauthentic place, then those decisions themselves are not true. And they're, it's like the divine's like, well, what are we supposed to give you if you're coming from a place of, of not yourself, you're, you're, you're trying to manifest with, with something that's not, it doesn't match your vibration or it doesn't match what you really want. Like your, again, words and actions may not match at times. Okay. Palace of Wands. You got a runner situation. So this person may be running away. Um, or, or they may think that, you know, there's, there's something about going back to something, running back to, um, a home or a situation. There's like a runner chaser type of dynamic here, especially with that two of cups could be somebody is like very, like feels the connection. It's a very, very strong, it's awakened them, but it scared the crap out of them. So they decided to run, whether it's you or them. So that's what they're saying is there's possibly you've got that. And then of course it's, it's their free will to run away, to travel the world, but they'll always come back to you. They will always think of you. It will always come down to you is what I'm getting. Yeah, the masculine here. Look at that. Yeah, the masculine sees you. If you're his feminine, if you're feminine, most most of my viewers are, but not always. Um, but if you're a masculine watching, you see that your feminine feels this way or you under, you're trying to help her through this because something's really happened. There could be a lot of um, like reckoning with death and seeing death because we are seeing that very, very strongly with everything going on in the world. Yeah. There's the, the coffee is like, okay, beep, beep, beep. I'm, I'm not warming as much as I was, but I have a great coffee maker. So it'll stay warm until like the next day. <laughs> so it's awesome. <laughs> um, so that's what they're saying. Um, your coffee might be in the microwave. Beep, beep, beep. Just know. That is for some of you. You're going to find it later and be like, Oh my God, the tarot reader was right coffee was in the microwave <laughs> but that's not like something you know like woo but you know it's there okay so this masculine is free will is it has the free will to be a runner so if they're the runner and they're running away let them run let them run um they're still going to and if they can't come towards you because you're with somebody else well that's too bad for them like if they ran too long and then you got single and then you're with someone else or you're making new connections they may be feeling that uh, very strongly and maybe hurting their feelings yeah, blessings coming through, protection, attention, love. Your guides are always with you. Okay, so this is that masculine card that I was saying here with that free will. Okay, and then we have blessings. This is a blessing in disguise. This person knows it. You know it, like this this connection. You know your, mas your masculine is a blessing. You know the things that you have learned are a blessing, and they are showing you what, yeah, and they there's some regret here. Yeah, this masculine has a lot of regret over running or um, ghosting you or whatever the situation is. And you may have a lot of regret over this too, because you saw your masculine as a blessing and you were just like, okay, if you're going to run away or if you were the running, the runner, your masculine like regrets, like pushing you away or causing you to run if that was your situation. But they want a fresh start with this two of cups here. So this is the, what's in your blind spot is that you may not know that this person really regrets what they've done. Maybe you have some regrets about some judgments you made about them or they made about you. And again, this could have come from a very um, toxic place um, of someone from your past because I'm doing in rows of six. Six is about um, like the six of cups. 
it's like a past life connection. Oh, yep, yeah, we have soulmate on the bottom of the deck, and I just, just looked while I was saying that, because I was talking about that with that two of cups. Okay, so you may be going, they may, your masculine may be regretting it, because you may go for a fresh start with the soulmate. Um, I am getting that that very strongly here for possibly some of you could have a twin flame and a soulmate, some type of dynamic here, possibly a third party. Not for all of you, but that is some of what's coming through. But if not, this masculine regrets, re the soulmate of yours regrets the things that they've done for running. They want a fresh start with you and they want that two of cups. Okay, and they want you to know, they know that, you know, what you guys are and they regret the the decisions they made. <laughs> yeah. And they, they didn't see that you were such a blessing. It's almost like once they got single or whatever, once you walked away from the connection and you weren't giving to them anymore, then they were finally being forced to go inside and address some of the things that needed to be, uh, that needed, that needed to be addressing. And this is their blind spot. You're their blind spot as well as what I'm getting. <laughs> They're just like, she's my blind spot. He's my blind spot. <laughs> like, yeah, it's true. They are. But there's this fresh start ready and they regret it and it may be a little too late. Some of them they're like, oh, you're this, this person's not taking me back. It's a little too late. And for some of them, yes, it is. I do feel like you're moving on, you know, good for you. Okay. What is your blind spot here? Okay. I've got fertility. Yeah. So some of you may be um, looking to have like babies, but also this is about like growth within yourself. Uh, manifestation yeah okay so uh, manifesting like fertility and going through maybe fertility finding finding yourself uh, you may be doing manifestation spells and things like that and um, you want this growth and this this person wants growth with you okay so they're very much regretting what they've done they would like a fresh start they would like to start this over so see if they can grow see what you both can manifest together they're also saying that if you're with a soulmate, that um, there's that soulmate regrets some of the things that, you know, they didn't see about you, that they didn't see about the connection before they were awakened. You know, they may have been running and just going off being stupid for a little while, and they're saying they're very, very sorry for that. What has been our blind spot? Maybe someone from your past, like I said earlier, we have seeking out old love. Okay. So yeah, this may be what you're manifesting uh, without knowing it is that you're, you're seeking out like a past love. A lot of you, this is, you're already with somebody that you, um, maybe you guys in the past had been looking for each other, like you lost connection and then you came back together. Um, and they told you how much they regretted, regretted not doing something or being with you then or something along, along those lines. We have adjustments required here. So yeah, this requires some adjustments within the connection. You know that they know that, um, some adjustments are required for, uh, kind of where, where you're for yourself. Like, again, you're like needing to adjust, uh, some of your negative thoughts or some of the patterns. Um, again, there's also healing coming up with past, uh, with, with your past. So we've got holding on. So yeah, you're still holding on. They're still holding on. Like the door isn't shut. The door, it's not over. You, you say it's over for a lot of you. It's like, yeah, it's over. I'm with somebody else. And then really is it over though? Because one or both of you is still holding on. Um, and this makes them feel trapped or tied up and maybe they're still holding on even though they can't do what they want to do. Um, the masculine is definitely feeling that way because it, it falls right here. Um, this says your divine masculine, your twin or soulmate seeking you. So trying to find you, um, they're still holding on. They do know that there's possibly some adjustments that they would need to make you or them not running away. Um, there could have been some miscommunications. This is, this is what kind of was your blind spot within each other. There were miscommunications on each side. Some things may have been said, like I was saying earlier that, you know, um, and emotions were just kind of bottled up here with the emotions bottled. Um, so this person is like holding them in, seeking you out, like seeking out old love. So if you guys have been in love in the past, it's like this old love kind of rekindling or reconnecting after some type of separation with the world here. Um, but one or both of you has not given up on this, has not given up on the fact that this could manifest, that this, that you guys could have children together or make a family together 
or grow in whatever way that is. You could have a business, you could do so many different things and they're just like, we could do anything. And I do feel that that's very, 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 very significant. You can do anything in this connection. And so that's what they're trying to say here is your blind spot is that, you know, there could have been some miscommunications. There's your blind spot. You may be thinking this person has let you go. Nope, they're still, like even if they've been running, they're still keep coming back to you. Okay, they're still holding on. They still want this fresh start. Okay. And this love is a blessing because the individuality is coming through. So number 11, yeah, so, um, and love and partnership. It's, it's, this is the blind spot. It's making sure that you don't lose who you are in this connection. And that if you have, it's reevaluating that. And it's also being authentic because if you, if you want an authentic love and partnership and you want that to come together, um, and look at how spiritual that is with the number 11 here, you know, y'all know that, um, and the two of cups there, it looks like an 11 there. Um, so what they're saying is like, this is very significant for your growth. This partnership has the ability to grow, but also don't lose who you are individually. Make sure that you're still growing on your own with this um, nine of coins and this queen of coins that you're still not losing yourself within this connection, uh, losing your identity. So somebody may feel that that's what they ran because their identity was, they felt like the other person they didn't know who was who, or they were also being taken over by that person's identity and losing their own. Okay, so sorry about that. Uh, I was talking about like the individuality and uh, your partnership and your connection here. So it's just showing that uh, y'all have a very, uh, you could have had a, like lost your individuality within it and it made you run. Um, this could have been the masculine specifically, but it could be you. It could be like losing yourself and not being able to find your identity. And again, maybe not being uh, manifesting from your true intentions because maybe you're not sure what those are. Maybe they kind of change within your partnership or you felt like maybe there was something that had that you weren't you weren't being seen as an individual in this connection or you had lost that so if there's been a separation between the two of you it has helped you both come back to your own individuality you to find yourself to invest in yourself and to address some of the things you thought you were um you knew about yourself and kind of come back to your own identity and that's what they're saying is like is is to stop um, whitewashing yourself, stop whitewashing the situation to make it look the way that society wants it to look or way, or the way they say it should look because it's up to you. You define your love and partnership. You define your individuality. Um, what could have happened is you are a person or you could have had some issues with learning about who you really are, being having your intentions manifest with, with what you, what is authentic. And this had could have been why the masculine ran away because they were just like, I'm losing my individuality in this. I can't find myself. But they regret that. Stop. They regret that either way. Um, and they want a new fresh start with you. So definitely some of some of the things that are in your blind spot are, are great though. This person's still holding on to you. They still you know, want to kind of fix this is what it looks like here and kind of find a way out. And I think uh, you do too um, as well here. Um, or you're trying to figure out if you do want that. And it's almost like sending mixed signals to the universe. They want you to be more, come here Zelda. They want you to be more direct with the universe about what you want. Um, otherwise you're splitting the energy and they're not sure how to help you manifest um, if it's not from an authentic place. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. I appreciate it. Uh, if you'd like a personal, ring, a personal reading, the link is down below. If you'd like to like the video, that's awesome, or comment, that's great. Uh, you can pick as many pals as you want, uh, so hopefully um, you got something out of it. And I love you guys so much, and I'll see you for the next Pick a Card reading. Take care.